homesteaders help homesteaders, right? That's right. And so it's really cool. But uh, so what Chip doesn't know is that we actually brought him something to help him for many, many years to come. What? So, What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Oaks Homestead. It's Chip and Nicole. Nicole. We're out here. We're in the garden today. It's starting to warm up and that means it's it, time to plant. Time to get all these plants in the ground that yeah. Nicole's been growing out in pots inside the house, in the garage, yeah. under grow lights. It's time to get them moved <laughs> out. We got a friend coming out. He came out and helped us with uh, Hurricane Katrina. Not Katrina. It was Hurricane Sally. Sally. It was Sally. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't go through Katrina. Uh, he came and helped us out with clean up after Hurricane Sally. Great guy. Super awesome dude. He came out and helped us. We didn't ask for help, and we didn't ask for help this time. Nope. He said it's just a good guy, yeah. and he knows it's time to put st stuff in the ground, Hank, and he knows how our place looks like. So <laughs> Hank from Hamiltonville Farm. Uh, hit me up and he was like hey it's almost garden season this was a couple of months ago uh do you guys want help tilling up your garden yes we do <laughs> yeah. we have a little hand tiller that is a pain he's got a nice tiller that fits on the tractor he's going to bring out the tiller we're going to hook it up to my tractor and we're going to get this done he's going to show us how to operate it before he comes out though uh, we got to we figure got some out cleaning out to do. We got to clean up and figure out where, where do we want to till this I have garden an idea. At. We got it, an idea of what we want to do, but we got to clean up the area before he gets here. Uh, we've been waiting. Uh, it's it's really been uh, up to him, him trying to find time in his busy schedule. We're always here, and uh, he called me up the other day and he was like, "Hey, what about this weekend?" And I said, uh, this weekend works great. <laughs> so he's on his way right now. We're going to do some cleaning up out here. And then he should be here shortly. Yep. But before we do that, the pigs are hungry. I'm gonna try today adding a little powdered milk to their feed directly. Just trying whatever I can to get these picky pigs to eat their feed. These guys right here are my pride and joy. I really enjoy these little pigs. I put feed down and they jump on it and they kill it right away. And that's what I wanna see because that way I know that they're getting the food that they need and they're gonna grow out big and strong. When I put feed down for these guys, the other pigs uh, come around trying to get their feed. They like crowd around their, around their pen trying to get to their feed even though it's the same thing i don't know what the problem is with these big pigs but uh with these little guys right here these are my boys and my girls all right now that these pigs have had their breakfast nicole and i need to get up here where we want this garden tilled hank's on his way and it takes him about two and a half hours to get here so we got a a little bit of time to play with
put it in jail. We're all cleaned up as, as good as we're gonna get it. When Hank gets here with the tiller, we'll we'll go over it with him and see what works best. Uh, this is not gonna be uh, how, the final product, but this is gonna be what we do this year. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff. With the, with the tilling, we're gonna be able to plant directly into the ground. We got a, a couple of yards of compost coming hopefully in the next week or so, so we can work that into the ground and start putting stuff into the ground directly, like corn and things like that. Last year our corn didn't work out so great, so hopefully yeah. this year we'll have more luck. And we really, we want to grow a bunch of corn because we got yeah. pigs and we got chickens and well, everybody's going to eat the corn. So yeah. we're going to rely on his expertise. Yeah, he, <laughs> he's the tractor man. So once he gets here, we'll go through it with him and, and see where we go from yep. there. Hey, we made it out here to Chip and Nicole's out at Hidden Oaks Homestead. So anyway, like I said earlier, we're going to help them with their garden this year. And so, uh, so Chip, you know, it's always an opportunity to yeah. get homesteaders help homesteaders, right? right? And so it's really cool. But uh, so what Chip doesn't know is that we actually brought him something to help him for many, many years to come. What? So, <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. yeah so surprise. come here. Let me let, let's take it. Let's take you back here. Doing? Take a look at here. So. So go ahead and get out of here. Uh, so take this off here. <laughs> so here, I'll help you. Uh, you can take the tarp off here. And this is something that we've been thinking about for a long time. No. And uh, and so anyway, so go ahead and, and rip that tarp off here. Notice how it ain't red. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So surprise. What? So the thing about Chip and Nicole is, you know, we we helped them after Hurricane um, Sally, Luke, Laura, whatever it was. Sally. Yeah. Yeah. I called it and, Katrina earlier yeah, in my yeah, video. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so that made a big impact on us. You know, they're what I like about your family is the fact that you know you want to do what's right. You know, you want to provide for your family. You want to work hard. You want to you want to go out and and, and make things better for for your family. And right. that's that's you're living the dream, and uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. And so when we were talking about what what can we do to to help you guys, we said, man, you know they could usually re really need a tiller to, to get that. Yeah. that. This is a Homestead Implements tiller, but it, we'll take this thing off and then we'll give you the details about what the tiller's like. We'll put it on. Unfortunately, it's green. Uh, it's not red. <laughs> and uh, but then we'll get it all hooked up. Let's you, see what's going on. You tricked me, man. <laughs> Whoop. You want me to take it back? Yeah. Now this will be now this will be your ballast. You got about 43 inches of tilling width mm -hmm. and a dig seven and a half inches. So you got plenty of digging depth on okay. it. Does have adjustable shoes on it. it. And it comes with a slip clutch. So if you look on here, and what separates a lot of good implements from bad implements is shear bolts versus slip clutch. Right. So this slip clutch, it will it will take the brunt of the of the tilling for you, so to speak. So you're not gonna have to get off your tractor, replace a shear bolt or anything like that. And this one's good to go. You'll get that slip clutch put on there. Uh, these are what they call C C shaped tines. Uh, you can have C versus L. C C shaped tines. It's hard for a redneck to say, <laughs> but anyway, that allows for, especially in our soil conditions, it'll allow for better digging and things like that. This is a reverse orientation spin, uh, so that means that the 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 tines are going to spin backwards. Uh, you can get forward option if you wanted to. If you're in a different part of the country where you want that forward rotation, Homestead does offer that. Uh, but this one is a reverse orientation. 
it's gonna be it's great for ballast like i say it's, oh, yeah. this one is 619 uh, pounds i think yeah. uh so you know even if you don't you're not tilling it but you need the ballast you can use this okay. for for weight on your on your backside there Hank, man, yeah. uh, this is not this is not what we expected. <laughs> we're good. We thought Hank and Gina were coming out to help us to till for us. Yeah. So we thought we were going to have lounge chairs and margaritas of course. while we watched you till. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, I did not expect you to bring us our own tiller. Yeah, it's so, pretty awesome, man. Yeah. Uh, it's an amazing, amazing couple, amazing family. <laughs> Just, I don't even know what to say, yeah. man. I'm, I'm taken aback right now. So we got a lot of work to do. Hank's just here to set up, really. That's right, that's right. We're gonna eat lunch, and uh, then they're gonna get out of here, and they're gonna leave the work with us, yeah. so. Yeah, I didn't actually want to work. I just <laughs> yeah. wanted to bring you things to work with. Yeah, you know? oh, <laughs> man. But Hamiltonville Farm, if you haven't, go to his channel and check him out. He does awesome stuff with his tractors, and even if you're not into tractors, he's just <laughs> a personality that even if you don't like tractors, he's just somebody fun to watch. All right, well. And well, we, we appreciate it, we, man. No, we appreciate yeah, it. And yeah. we got to come out and do something for you guys. Yeah, yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Quit being a stranger, you yeah. know what I mean? So, so we'll right. let you get out of here, and we're going to jump on the tractor and get to work. All right, take care. So Hank and Gina just left. We had lunch. Uh, now it's time to get to work, and all of a sudden he had to go. <laughs> so, no, I... <laughs> I'm kidding. We're really appreciative of what what they've done for us. How crazy is that? Not what we were expecting. <laughs> Anyways, we got to get on this tractor. Uh, I got to learn how to till. Yeah. He, he, gave, he gave me some uh, some basic guidelines. Uh, I ran a few rows with him. Then we had lunch. Uh, he had to get out of here because he lives two and a half hours away. It's a little bit of a so, hike. So yeah, for him to come out and do that for us. Uh, over the weekend is crazy yeah. it, it means a lot to us it really does but uh, I'm gonna get on this tractor fire this thing up and see how how we do I'm about to be tilling everything. <laughs>
it, if there if it does not have a tree on it or a house or a building it's about to get tilled <laughs> this thing cuts like butter it's so nice it it the, the dirt is so smooth the soil feels like Crumbly. it feels like uh powdered sugar right now <laughs> i can't even explain it. i've never seen anything like this in my life <laughs> uh so we'll be taking our hand tiller to the dump this weekend because we don't need that no 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 okay no, it's not going to the dump i don't know who's going to use it we'll <laughs> hang laundry off of That'll it be or a, something i don't know a kid chore when they misbehave you hand till this I, field <laughs> i i don't even know it it's crazy it's amazing that it's thing crazy. is awesome i mean it, it how long did it take like uh, 10 minutes it was a quick quick project it was super quick it was real quick uh 10 minutes and looks like a pro did it we got to go through and we got to pull grass out of it i don't know if there's a implement for that but we're gonna go through and and start pulling grass out uh hank thank you guys please we're gonna leave a link to uh hamiltonville farm in the description below they are so close to 100,000 it's not even funny make sure you head over there and give them a like give them a give them a subscribe they go over there and check them out uh, they're just an an amazing couple and they are. Hank is is such a character he's so fun just to just to watch him talk uh, he he does uh, will it start videos he goes out and he finds uh, trucks or cars that have just been sitting for years and does what he can to get on it and see if he can get them fired up check that out it's, he's got amazing content over there and we want to help do what we can because they've done so much for us i can't talk enough good things about <laughs> hank and gina right yeah. now so make but, sure you check out hamiltonville farms we'll leave a link also check out homestead implements because that's where this implement came from um hank's got a good relationship with them and they are doing all kind of custom implements so make sure you check them out as well and yeah i'm gonna yeah. make him till everything okay so we're gonna wrap this one up guys hope you enjoyed the video stick around and we will see you we'll see you in the next one see you in the next video guys thanks a lot